Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Safe and today I am going to talk about Zoho Checkout. So let's get started. First, you need to create your own account from Access Zoho Checkout here. Now you need to enter some basic information like your organization name for example, your location, the currency I will use American dollars, the time zone, let's just pick any time zone, for example, and the industry, let's select anything, it's completely random. So now let's get started. Now here is your dashboard, here is your home, here it shows you the steps that you need to complete so your profile is complete. So this is your home section, which shows you these steps. You have to set up a payment gateway, create your first payment page, personalize your page, and start accepting payments. Next step is the payment pages here. Currently, we don't have any payment pages. Let's get started with a new one. It will ask you about the title. Let's say, for example, subscription to our website. and description let's just leave it blank the amount let's say uh, maybe fifty dollars here you can decide if customers decide on payment page and it will ask you about the minimum amount required however i will just use the fixed amount here and i will use fifty dollars next is the payment frequency you can decide whether the client will pay one-time payment or recurring payment or decide it on checkout i will just choose recurring payment so that it will be continuous as it's a subscription you can choose it with either, uh, either it's a monthly three month six month yearly and so on and so forth i will choose it as a monthly and i will leave this without checking on it billing day okay day of checkout billing duration let's say forever terms and conditions i will not insert any terms and conditions now it will ask you after successful payment what would you like to do so you can redirect the client to a url and it will ask you about this url or you can display a message so basically i will choose a redirection to url because it's a subscription to our website and i will write this website here now it will ask you about payment page expiration uh, say you can say it's ne it never expires or expires by specific date or expire by specific usage i will use never expires now it will ask you about uh, the item type goods or service i will choose service because it's subscription the template you can change the template from here you can choose the default one or create a new template it will ask you that the template page will be saved with current template once you are done setting up a new template please associate to the payment page so uh, if I used go to templates, it will uh, cancel this page and go to another page and I don't want this to happen. So I will just stay on this page for now and I will navigate the templates later. So let's stay on this page and use the default for now and let's save our first payment page. And voila, here is your first payment page ready. You can also preview it from here by clicking on preview. You can see how your payment page look like and here it is the subscription form to our website perfect now let's return to our page again and now let's navigate to payments here you can uh, place you, the payments method and this is um, adjusted from the settings you can also adjust your recurring payments you can adjust coupons so you can get started and make a new coupon so for example we can name our coupon 10 percent coupon coupon code uh, for example you can use the discount as uh, you can decide whether it's flat or percentage i will use percentage and i will write 10 percent uh, the redemption time can be one time forever or limited number of times i will say um, maybe a limited number of times and I will choose five times per person 
Um, I will leave this plank and I will leave this plank. Or may I may uh, use the maximum redemption. No, no, let's just leave it blank. But here you can limit the maximum discount. So if the 10% uh, exceeded this amount, it will not be accounted. This maximum will only be accounted. So if I said uh, $5, for example, if the 10% passed the $5, it will only deduct $5. I will just leave it empty and I will save for now. Perfect, now you have your coupon. Now we, if we, we return back to our payment page and we select it to edit by pressing on this. Here we can adjust our coupon by using 10% coupon. And we can save now. So it has been updated. Now let's move to analytics. It contains all these reports, so you can see your net revenue, you can see your lost opportunities, you can see your payments, you can see your recurring payments and also your customers. Since we did not input any of these and we did not make uh, we did not make an actual revenue, you'll find that this inside or this report is empty. You can also uh, decide uh, which pages that you want the report to be made for. You can decide uh, the date. Uh, you can also decide uh, to print your uh, report. So now let's move to the settings here. Here you can control many things. You can control your organization profile, user settings, preferences, ret retry settings, taxes, and so on and so forth. Here we can upload our logo. Um, I think this is the one I want. Yes, indeed. You can save from here and perfect. You can also adjust templates from here. You can make a new template and you can choose among all of these templates. So now let's just keep it for our default here. If you want to change the template, you can press on it and you can adjust it from this left menu. You can adjust the background the color for example you can choose it black like that you can decide to control all the properties and manipulate them from this window you can also add a, a, add a header tax information you can add a footer you can add anything of these you can save from here it will ask uh, a valid template name okay we did not place a name for the template And we can save. So now we have our template. So now let's return back to the payment page. And now let's select to preview to see how our payment page looks like. So basically this is how our payment page looks like. And this is uh, pretty it. This is how and uh, Zoho Checkout work and that's Zoho Checkout in a nutshell. Hope you guys learned from this uh, quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.